Hi, this is for the T-Cubed Instructor PD evening on February 11th. This is Tom Reardon. Here's my contact information. And all materials links are available at this site right here, bit.ly forward slash PD sites, all lowercase. When doing PD, a webinar or presentation, uh, create a website with Google Sites that links the materials. Use Dropbox or Google Drive to house the PDFs, TNS files, 84 programs, whatever. Use Bitly or TinyURL to track web, web traffic and use videos to create clarifications. And if you want to make a blog, you use WordPress. Again, there's our website. And here are what I call the ingredients to do this. Uh, you do need to have Google Sites to create the site for free, bit.ly or tinyul URL to shorten the link name and also be able to track the number of clicks, Dropbox or Google Drive to store and link documents, videos to create clarifications, I use Camtasia, whatever works for you, and blogs to illustrate an activity, I use WordPress, again, whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and create a website from scratch doing PD. This is our checklist here. Um, create the files first, whatever they are. Save them in either Dropbox or Google Drive. If desired, create a zip folder with all the files in one folder. That makes an advantage for the user. Create the Google site at sites.google.com. Create links to Dropbox or to the Google Drive to your files on the website. Create the bit.ly or tiny URL with a custom link name that will also track the number of clicks. And as an option, you can create a video, blog, or both if desired. All right, so let's look at the first two steps. Say so you created the files, PDFs, and so on. We need to save the files in either Dropbox or Google Drive. And I'm going to do both just to show you how that's done. So for example, in a Dropbox, I have a folder called COVID-19 TI-84 activity files. So I have those in those right there, okay? And then in the Google Drive, I put in uh, the TI Inspire COVID files. Now if desired, create a zip folder with all the files in one folder. That helps the user quite a bit. And let me show you how that's done. So here's my Dropbox. Uh, folder that has the uh, 84 activity files. What I'm going to do is select all of them and then I right click on this and I pick send to compressed zip folder. And I right clicked on all of them, clicked on send to compressed folder, so click on that left click on that compressed zip folder and it adds another folder with a zipper on it. And I want to rename that, so let me just rename this, um, let's say COVID-19 uh, TI-84 files. There we go. And I would do a similar thing with the Inspire ones, create a zip folder for that. And as you can see, I added this zip folder into my uh, Google Drive with the COVID Inspire files as well. So this is what the uh, Dropbox folder would look like and here's that zip folder right there okay with the zipper on it. And in the Google Drive these are the Inspire files and this is the zip folder for that as well. The next step is to actually create the site at sites.google.com. And so when you get there, it'll be sites.google.com forward slash new. And what you're going to do is click on start a new site right here. I usually click on that plus sign. And here is a new Google site. This is the page title right here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit that. And we're going to call this COVID-19, and then I'll go ahead and finish typing that. Uh, so I'm going to pause right now and type that in. You don't need to watch me do that. 
And you'll notice I typed it as COVID-19 activity for TI-84 and TI-Inspire. A couple things I'll point out up here. Uh, these are the styles. These are the um, fonts, font size, bold, italics, underline. And this is the text color. This is what we'll use when we insert our links and alignments and more stuff. So um, you kind of investigate that on your own. And this is what I would like the uh, page to look like. On the left hand side is going to be 80, the TI-84 resources. On the right hand side, the TI-Inspire resources. And then these will be links to that information right there. So let's go back and go ahead and start to type that in. So what I'm going to do is put on the left hand side the TI-84 resources and on the right hand side the TI-Inspire resources. I'm going to use a text box to do that. So I'll click on text box and uh, I'm fine with this. I think I'll go with a font size of 24 and you can play around with that. What do you like there? So I'll type in TI-84 resources. And I'm going to go ahead and grab over here and cut that about in half. And let me go ahead and maybe put in the next line, which will be um, the student activity. But I'd like that to have maybe a font size of only 18. And then step by step and so on. And uh, I'll go ahead and finish that off camera, but I'm going to put in the uh, other one for TI Inspire. So again, I'll click on a text box. And I'm going to you know, move it so it's cut in half about right here. Again, a 24 font would be good. And TI-Inspire resources on this side. And I'll make this again 18. And student activity and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for a minute and finish typing that together. So I went ahead and finished this. You know what, maybe I will select that and make that bold just to show you that you can and make that and make that bold. Oh, we could change the color. Uh, maybe make that uh, maroon and maybe make that blue. The next thing we want to do is create links to Dropbox or to the Google Drive to the files on the website. I will do examples from each one to illustrate that. First, I'm going to my Dropbox and I want to find the student file. And so I'm going to uh, click on that to select it. Right click on it. And I want to copy the Dropbox link. I copy the Dropbox link. So I'll click on copy Dropbox link and it's done that. And so now I'm going to go back and put that link on my web page. All right, so now I'm back at the uh, Google site. I'm going to click in this box and highlight student activity. I'm going to click on the link right here where it says insert link when you hover over it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click in there and right click to paste that awful looking link that I got from my Dropbox and then click on apply. And notice it underscored it, which means it's now a live link. So I'm going to do that again with another one just to illustrate it. So I've gone back to my Dropbox. And this time I'm going to do the um, zip folder. I'm going to select that. Right click. Select copy Dropbox link. And, and that copy might have been cut off your screen a little bit. And I apologize. Copy Dropbox link. So it has. And so now I'm going to go back to the Google site. And this time I'm going to highlight the zip all TI-84 files. Because that's the one I want this to link to. Highlight that. Click on Insert Link. 
right click and then paste that link there and definitely make sure you click on apply. Next I'll show you how to do the same thing but with uh, Google Drive. So I'm back here at my Google Drive right here and uh, again I'm going to find the student PDF and I will uh, right click on it and pick the get link option and here's where we have to do something different. Here I have this little drop down menu here. Right now it's restricted and I want anybody who gets this link to be able to get this file. So click on anyone with the link and then click on done so it knows it's done. Oh, maybe I need to copy the link. So sorry, I almost forgot to copy the link. Now done. And I'm going to go back to the Google site and make create that link so here I am so I'm going to go ahead and click inside here select student activity click the insert link drop down right click and paste it and apply and now it has been linked to my that Google folder Google Drive I'm going to do the same thing with the All Inspire files. I'm going to do the other ones as well, but not on camera. So I'm going to illustrate this with the zip folder. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on here. Get the link. Left click, get the link. I don't want it to be restricted, so I click on the drop down and click on anyone with the link copy the link. Don't forget to copy it. I almost forgot to copy it before and I'm done. And now I'm going to go back to this and then select where I want it to link to and that was the zip all TI Inspire files is highlighted or selected. Click on the insert link and paste it and click apply. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these links here, similar to what I did before, and then I'll see you on the other side. And as you can see, all of these are now active links. If I were you, I would check and make sure before I post this that all of those links actually do work. Okay, we're not ready yet because we need to do something called publish, but hold off on that for right now. So I added a step 5b here because we need to publish the site so it is usable by anyone. So let's go back to the website and I'll show you how easily done that is. So I'm back at the Google site here and up in the right hand corner there's a blue button that says publish. So just follow the directions here. So I'm going to left click publish. Oh, it wants a web address. Um, so I'm going to call this COVID. Nineteen nineteen um, and notice that this one's already taken, so I need to put something at the end. How about if I go with TR for Tom Reardon? And as soon as I do that I can go ahead and say publish, click on publish. And now that it's been published, I'm gonna click on this drop down menu here and I can now go ahead and view the published site. And this is the one that would actually go out to people. Okay. Um, notice it says untitled. I could go back and put a title in. I think that's an option I'll leave for you to do there. Um, so now my uh, website is completed. I still have a few more things I want to show you, but uh, it's now published. And this is the link right now to it. So make sure you copy that complete link because what we're going to do is use Bitly and make it um, our own uh, name so it can be tracked. So go ahead and copy that right now.
The next step is to create the bit.ly or tiny URL with a custom link name that will also track the number of clicks. This is the website bitly.com. You will need to register with your email address. The service is free. Now I've already done that so uh, I don't need to go through all that but you'll need to do that and then once you do that each time you log in you'll be taken to your uh, bit.ly website. Now we've done a few things since last time so I'm going back to the published website and I'm going to again copy that um, website name so control C or what, however you would copy that but copy that entire name because we're going to use that when we get to bit.ly so now when I go to bit.ly's website uh, I'm going to click on the create button and it says paste the long URL that you have so I'm going to head and, and right click and paste that there and bit.ly comes up with a customized one but um, I like to create my own because who's going to remember that? So I'm going to go ahead and call this COVID-19 TR. And if that doesn't take it, I'll give it some other name. And sometimes names are already taken. So I'll just go ahead and press enter. Up oh, says it's taken, so that's no good. So COVID-19 TR, so I'll have to say TR1. How about that? Let's see if that's taken. And maybe I'll go with 2021. How about that? There. So now that's it. So I can go ahead and copy that link. And I have that link. Okay. And also say um, save. So this is where it's going to keep track of how many clicks you have for that. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Let me pull it up. Bitly COVID-19 TR 2021. Okay, and it'll tell you how many clicks there are for that one. I'm just going to go back here and paste that bit.ly there. And you notice it starts off with that standard HTTP and so on. I like to go ahead and make that shorter because that's what this is all about, being short. And so you can erase that, and this is still an active link. Notice there is a, a decimal point or a period between the T and the L, how this is listed right here. Okay, Not like it is here, how it is here. Okay, And I prefer to use all lowercase letters most of the time, just to remember that, because it is case sensitive. Sometimes I don't do that with, for example, TI, would do a capital TI, and things like that. So you decide. The final step is optional. You could create a video or a blog or both and link to either one of those or to both of those. I'm not going to add those at this time. That is up to you. Uh, I do want to add two more things to the website so that I can illustrate how to edit an existing website. And here's what I want to add. I want to put TI's website there, a link to the website, and also the tech support number. Uh, I think that's important. Uh, you could put your t your email address there, contact an ETC, a link to your website, a look to your favorite link to your favorite um, activities, whatever you want to do. Okay, that's it. This is a this is the power of this website here. So I'm back to the uh, website. And when I do this on my computer, I get this pencil. If you hover over it, it says edit this page. Nobody will be able to do that except you on your own uh, computer. So I'm going to click on this to edit the page. And it puts it into an editing mode. You see all the things come back here that I can change. I can enter the site name if you want to do that. That's up to you. But I just want to go ahead and finish this. So let me go down to here. And I'm going to click in that box. And um, I'm going to go down one, and I'm still on 18, so I'm fine with that. So education.ti.com. I'm going to copy it, that, so I'm going to select that and do Control-C. And then I want to go up to this link right here, 
and paste that right there and apply it. And then right underneath it, we're going to put uh, tech support 1.800.1. Dot ti dot cares all caps and I'm going to put in parentheses the actual number 800 dot 842 dot 2737 and notice it stopped me because I, I had a certain width for this which I'm okay with um, if I want to I can go ahead and select that and maybe get a different color to set out so I'll select that and pick a text color oh a royal purple how's that a royal purple there and I'll even make it bold there we go and again when I'm finished I gotta make sure that I publish this so I'll go back to publish and it says this is what you've got currently and this is what the draft is so I'm just gonna go ahead and press publish it's publishing and again, this is still in edit mode, so don't forget to go down to the drop-down menu here and view the published site. And it didn't turn out exactly the way I want. I could go back and kind of edit that, but I'm going to let that go for now. Okay. And what I would suggest you do before you go any further is check and make sure that each of these links do what they want, what you want them to do. And finally, reminder, all materials links are available at this bit.ly right here.